China's declared that they're building 450 nuclear power plants. The net cost, effective cost of electricity production out of a nuclear power plant is somewhere between one and five cents per kilowatt hour. The U.S. on average is paying 11 to 15 cents per kilowatt hour. American scientists are absolutely shocked at what the Chinese government is building in these sand dunes in the Gobi Desert. The Gobi Desert posed a massive challenge for China in the past. Harsh weather conditions created sandstorms that threatened major Chinese cities, destroyed farmlands, buried villages, and forced people to abandon their homes. But now, China is planning to use these sand dunes to host China's largest nuclear project that could completely change the future of China and our entire planet. And by launching its first thorium molten salt reactor, China is making a significant milestone in the country's pursuit of advanced nuclear technologies. You might never have heard of thorium, but its potential is a game changer for the energy industry. While traditional nuclear plants use a more than 50-year-old technology based on uranium, thorium is safer, capable of burning nuclear waste, and is suitable for use in arid, landlocked areas, exactly like the Gobi Desert. But one stat makes this new reactor truly remarkable for China. China is home to one of the world's largest supplies of thorium. With only one ton of thorium, it's possible to generate the same amount of energy as with 3,500,000 tons of coal. And by untapping this resource and becoming the first country in the world to commercialize this energy, China will have enough energy to power its country for the next 20,000 years which basically means that China is just about to discover the tech that will give it unlimited energy for almost eternity. So what is this thorium reactor all about? How did China build this advanced new reactor? And what does it mean for China and our world? We've got all the details you need to know right here. The United States was the first country who explored thorium and built molten salt reactors back in the 1960s that demonstrated the feasibility of using thorium. However, the U.S. failed to make significant progress because of political reasons and a lack of government funding, as resources and budgets were primarily allocated to NASA during the space race with the Soviet Union. India, on the other hand, holds the world's largest supply of thorium which is why they've been trying to build a thorium-based nuclear power reactor since the 1980s. However, India has faced challenges in terms of technical expertise and government funding, hindering the progress of the project. This is where China has some major advantages. But first, we need to understand the link between thorium and China's control over the rare earth supply chain. Thorium is a byproduct of the rare earth mining industry, and China is by far the largest producer of usable rare earth metals, accounting for 60% of rare earth mining and 85% of rare earth processing. Raw materials such as cobalt, nickel sulfate, lithium hydroxide, and graphite are predominantly sourced from mines in South America and Africa, but a significant portion of these raw materials is sent to China where it exerts control over the refining process to create battery cells for the rising EV industry, thus giving the country a significant supply of thorium. Another significant advantage is that China's one-party government's long-term planning and decisive actions give it a supreme advantage over other countries. As a one-party state, China can efficiently invest in and build infrastructure projects. Once the party decides to move forward, the bureaucracy is minimal and the actions are clear and precise to achieve the desired result. A clear example of China's efficiency is its high-speed rail projects. When China committed to building a high-speed rail, it took them only three years to complete. This highlights one of China's greatest strengths, its efficiency and engineering capabilities, along with the ability to get projects done in a timely manner, which only a few countries can match. However, Building a molten salt reactor that converts thorium into energy is indeed a much more complex process. That's why China's reactor was initially expected to take six years to build. However, Chinese scientists and engineers completed the work in just three years and completely amazed the scientific community. The project progressed more smoothly than anticipated, and the first thorium reactor finally got an operational permit for the next 10 years. China's new thorium reactor stands out for several reasons. 
Unlike traditional nuclear power plants that require water for cooling, this reactor doesn't need any water, making it suitable for construction in dry and arid areas like the Gobi Desert. With ongoing droughts and increasing temperatures, this will be an increasingly important feature. For instance, France, which is the biggest nuclear energy producer in the EU, had to cut its nuclear energy output as the river's water heated up too high during the heat wave season and wasn't able to cool the reactors down. And a winter drought made it even worse. The nation that traditionally exports energy had to rely on energy imports for the first time in 40 years. That's the type of problem which the thorium reactor would be able to solve as well. Another remarkable aspect of this new reactor is its ability to burn uranium-238, which is the waste product from existing nuclear water reactors. This means that China can utilize its thorium reactor to convert existing nuclear waste into clean carbon-neutral energy. Additionally, the technology is considered extremely safe because the reactor can regulate its temperature itself and avoid dangerous meltdown situations as had happened in the past in Fukushima and Chernobyl. China's pursuit of thorium reactors is part of its broader plan to become carbon neutral by 2060. The nation invested a whopping $440 billion in its nuclear buildup and plans to build at least 150 new reactors. That's more reactors than the rest of the world has built over the past 35 years combined. As the world leader in renewable energy, China aims to integrate these new salt reactors with its existing wind and solar plants to provide a stable electricity supply. So China is quietly and rapidly emerging as the world leader in another area of technology. China has already built the world's most advanced 5G network and is now working on 6G technology. The country operates the most advanced high-speed rail network and is a major producer of silicon wafers used in solar panels. When it comes to electric vehicles, no country can produce them without battery technology from China. But why is the U.S. lagging so far behind in this field of technology? One reason why the U.S. hadn't developed thorium technology back in the 60s was because of low military interest. The technology wasn't suitable for enriched plutonium and uranium, which is needed to build nuclear weapons. And as we dig deeper into this rabbit hole, it turns out that the U.S. electrical grid faces some major challenges for the energy transition. The electrical grid in the U.S. is divided into three zones, the West, East, and Texas, further fragmented into regional operators that compete for profits. This fragmented grid structure becomes a major obstacle for the U.S. in its efforts for the energy transition, as it lacks an integrated system that can effectively tap into wind and solar energy to secure its energy independence. In contrast, China operates two grids, one in the north and one in the south, and these grids were synchronized in 2005. By 2011, every province in China was interconnected into one system. This interconnected grid provides a significant advantage for China, allowing the country to leverage its renewable energy production effectively. With a connected grid, China can harness the power of wind, solar, nuclear, and now thorium to meet its energy needs and become the leading renewable energy producer. China's reactor development, particularly the thorium molten salt reactor in the Gobi Desert, has the potential to change the world for several reasons. One key factor is the increasing importance of energy in the global economy. Recent events, such as Russia's invasion of Ukraine, have led to energy crisis in European countries that are heavily reliant on Russian gas. As European countries struggle to decouple from Russia's energy sources, China's nuclear development becomes significant. However, besides China, surprisingly, Germany is currently also developing a thorium reactor. Even though the country is phasing out nuclear energy, they are still leading in nuclear technology. They have developed a reactor with dual fluid concept. It promises to power the country for 1,000 years and could also have its benefits for the United States. Check it out by clicking the displayed video and subscribe to this channel for free to stay updated in the world of science and technology.